Okay, so here's going to be a cool little video for players that are struggling with being able to activate their rib cage in a very simple feel that I like to use to get it working both for where pressure's going in the feet, how we're creating left bend, and how we're starting rotation. So, first things first, you've got to have your rib cage more underneath your pelvis. You can't be down here like this. Second thing, you've got to make sure that you've got weight on the balls of your feet. So, what I want you to feel firstly. If I started right here where I've got this alignment stick in the middle of my feet, grab the seam line of your lead side, and what I want you to feel like you're doing, I want you to feel like directionally you're pulling this towards your trail heel as your eyes stay on center. So I'd be here, and I'm pulling this. You can see my seam line now is matching up with this line in the center of my feet, and I'm pulling at the direction of my trail heel. Now this is what's gonna allow me to start turning more with my trail side to get that back on center. So I'm gonna take the seam line to here, turn my trail seam line back towards the center of me. And what you'll notice right here, so I can be in this setup right here, if I pull this this direction, I now have left bend engaged, I have pressure moving towards my heel, which is rotational, and then I can start to finish all of the turn with my trail side. So, get in here, set up to your golf ball, Create one of these fields. Go ahead and grip it, and then we're going to start the swing with the lead side of the rib cage moving towards the heel. So we're here, and then we're going. So there's a good way that you can activate your rib cage, get it moving the direction that we need it to, rotationally, balance-wise, etc. So give that a go, and let me know if you have any questions.